The hotel, the Aviator in particular, was recently purchased by former Anchorage Mayor Mark Bagich and former State Revenue Commissioner Sheldon Fisher. They're in the process of turning this building that once housed homeless people into an upscale luxury hotel. This will be the new lobby. There are big plans for this 250-room hotel, and some of them were revealed to visitors Monday afternoon. This, again, is designed, you can kind of smell the leather in here. Besides luxury touches in the rooms, there are plans for a restaurant with a large heated deck and a view. If we want to do a beer garden out there, we'll have access. The main level will feature an on-site brewery intended to attract visitors and locals alike. Because we want people to make this the place you go to and start your experience. Maybe first Friday, watching for Rondi Diderot or coming on your vacation. Start your trip here. But part of what makes this project unique won't be visible to the average guest. There's new insulation on the roof and in the walls. Energy updates being built in are thanks to a new kind of loan program for Alaska called CPACER. We all know how much our buildings need upgrades in Anchorage. The program's also available now for new construction, which we're very excited to see. The loans are designed to make buildings more energy efficient and to save money in the long term. A third party engineer estimated that uh, we would save around $600,000 a year over a 20 year uh, expected life. Um, uh, that will be more than uh, $12 million. And that's not bad for a five and a half million dollar investment. The Pace Loan Group says the hotel is the second big project to receive a CPACER loan in Alaska, but developers hope it won't be the last. And we're told that some of the rooms at the hotel will actually be finished this fall, but the majority, including the restaurant and the brewery, should be open by next spring or early summer, just in time for the tourist season.